die of cancer. Okay? Yeah. You want to know how people die, how people get cancer? You want to know? I tell you, okay? Is if you especially live a life uh, of not not a communicative life, you will die of cancer. Communication is not bland or bleh. Some mothers very good. At, in the mother and in beginning talk, you listen. After a while, it seems like going back to the same story, right? Then it, it will become... Correct? Make sense? Huh? No, it go, don't go in already. So, Auntie Stella, you also... Don't... Right? Yeah. Okay? Especially, from what I see, women have this strong characteristic. I also have. Why? Surrounding me, a lot of people like that... So I got influenced. Yeah. I got influenced. So <clears throat> communication is very important. You must make sure you think and talk. Open heart and talk. That's why Chinese say Kai Sing. Kai Sing is not happy, yeah. Sing Fu is happy, yeah. Kai Sing is not happy. Yeah. Ni Kai Sing ma? Correct? Yeah. But many people maybe they feel sing fu for now, but put kai sing. Inside here, not close like that, nah. It's close like that. And then outside put durian shell some more. Durian husk, durian kaka, put pang awa kao. Really? So those got durian card one, eh? durian shell, you can see very clearly from outside. You want to know how? You want to know? Wow, tattoo, jui, jui, ah. Those people who got the most tattoo usually have the softest heart. Do you know? This is my experience. I have many different, different kind of students. Secretly, I tell you now, why they tattoo? Because they protect themselves. They are two, two jello-like hearts already. So they want to look macho, look fierce, look have power. So they, that's why they end up with friends. They feel so insecure. They end up with friends who like to all have power. So we need to have compassion. Compassion for ourselves and compassion for others. Very, very important. Huh? So don't just talk and talk and talk. How to be free of cancer? Number one, there are type of people. Actually, I say I want to. I only wanted to teach Dennis. So maybe I just teach Dennis lah. Huh? So if, if not, I think he will die of cancer. <coughs> huh? <coughs> How do we free from cancer? You want to know? Yes. Huh? Even if this person got cancer, the moment you realize this, you can start to recover. Is don't always... Is you need to start to take control of your life. People with cancer always feel they are victims. Victims of situation, victims of life, victims of work, victims of relationship. I assure you 100% you will get, you die early or you get cancer. You always feel victimized. Not, but you don't want to take control. They feel that they have to be always be 
or doing this for my son, doing for my children, doing for my husband, doing for my wife, doing for my work, doing for my boss, doing for the this, doing for the that, or oh, everything they have to sacrifice and sacrifice. They feel they have no time. They cannot say no to people. They have to everything, all oh, this and that. To start to feel what matters to you, and it's all right. Some it is all right to say no. So I'm also sending signal because I'm a victim of bully. <laughs> I'm a big victim of gang bully. Especially people like you know Joshua Tan and all this Uncle Pang, they make a tray, many many offering. They call it requests, but it's a gang bully. Faster, faster! Everybody come together, make a request together. Then, oh, they are bullying me. I have to start to feel. Oh, I feel victimized. Ah, oh, drama. Start to laugh at your life situation. If not, you will really feel. Oh, I'm so poor thing. Oh, I know this. That everybody want, right? Some people tell me, say, oh, it's so difficult, you know, I, everybody owe me money, don't want to collect money. I just told him straight in the face, what you learn? What you learn? You stupid, ma? You know wisdom, ma? I tell you last time, don't learn. You say, I know compassion, right? You know, because I have, I have students like that, they have, a very, re they have very good reflex actions. You know, very good reflex. Whatever Lama tell them, whatever the Rinpoche tell them, first is, how can you say like that? You got no compassion. Uh. You know? Yeah, they, I have, I end up, you see, don't anyhow make vows. Past life, I made one vow. Stupid one. Say what? I want to save those that nobody wants to save. Siao liao lao. Uh, so I will get some this kind of people eh? you say one eh? you say one eh? uh, I don't want you anymore okay no? you see so what happened is if you take we take all these things very seriously like you you know Chinese have this term called the one put si then you will feel very victimized very unhappy very this but if we see everything as a journey, as a journey, then you know life goes on. Feeling of victimization is the root cause of cancer. And the root cause of the feeling of victimization is self-cherishing thought. Selfish cherishing thought, not self -cher it's good to cherish yourself because when you feel good, people with you feel good being around you. You understand? Right? Yeah. You know, I like to watch. Have you watched the Charlie Brown cartoon or Charlie Brown art? Yeah. You know, there's one, they always got one boy called Pig Pen. Huh? Do you know? Okay. There's one boy called Pig Pen. You go, you go, you go and type Pig Pen. Uh, Charlie Brown or Snoopy. You know? This Pig Pen, always very dirty. Okay, and then he always is, got a lot of dust. And then he got flies flying around him. So that make me think, many of us are Pig Pen. But Pig Pen has one girlfriend who really loves him, being like Pig Pen. Uh, in the cartoon. And Pig Pen goes for a shower and say, You don't look like Pig Pen. You know? Yeah. So this the, the the thing. Many of us we eat to satisfy the the momentary emotion, but we don't take care of our body. You see? I have one relative who never services his car. And when I asked him, why don't you service the car? You know what his action, uh, answer was? Say, the car is my servant. Why should I put money to service it? I'm not joking. I, om I, I, I almost slapped the bugger up. Then I think I shouldn't slap him. He gave me this teaching. 
Many of us are like that. We don't service our body. Our don't service our speech, don't service our mind. I said, I shouldn't slap him because he woke me up. Car needs servicing, right? Change the oil, change this, right? So we also need servicing. We need to change our mind and we change the type of food and change our exercise and change this. Maybe change hairstyle once in a while. Maybe I should cut my hair. What do you think? Huh? You know, this tassio pao is very heavy. And then when I cut, you know, if I don't cut my hair, I let it go. Somebody say, Wow, Rinpoche, you go for what? You go and tong your hair. Your hair becomes so curly. Oh my goodness. Huh? So, <clears throat> you know, we have to think about funny things. You want to be free of cancer? You know, first thing to do, take a photograph of yourself and then in the computer, then you make your own tombstone. Then you ask yourself, when do you want to become like that? It's not whether you want to become like that. Nah? The correct answer is when do you want this to come? How soon do you want it to come? So you should keep... I have one student. She's really good. Her computer... What, what's the what page? Is the front one. Huh? Desktop is a photograph of her tombstone. She put her, her, her photo... And she put her birthday and her name and everything that her name in, on the tomb as like a tomb. But then the day of death, she says, unknown yet. You know? Yeah. Maybe. Hopefully, visa extendable. Who extend the visa? Your mouth. Your heart, your mind. If you keep on thinking, oh. I'm victim, I'm supporting, I will come and blame other people, justify, then complain, then you always feel very sure you get cancer. Sooner or later is is that's why you know people say no, the cancer explodes, no boom. It, it just you suffer, no, they say when the when you when you pressurize so much, somehow it has to explode. So that's why cancer comes as an explosion of all the things. So the whole body has tumor, pain, yeah, there, everywhere. So better I take all your cancer and all your suffering to me. I give you all my merit and prayer and a blessing. Okay? I take already. Too bad. You cannot take back. Huh? Yeah. I take away all your cancer, all your pain, all your suffering, all I take. Ah. Then you have to experience. Let it go. You must offer to Buddha all your suffering. Don't keep. You offer the nice fruit and flower to Buddha, then you keep all the suffering for yourself. Then when you when will you eat the fruit? When the fruit start to rot on the altar, then you take and eat. Something wrong with you. you know. ah. Buddha doesn't need to eat the fruit on the table. You offer already, make the offering prayer. After that, you can keep, you eat. Eat everything while it is fresh, while it is good. Decorate your house with flowers, not just on the altar. What does it mean? What does the altar mean? It's supposed to mean, you see, if the, the merits of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas make people offer them so many nice things, then why don't you make your house and your, your heart into a Buddha and your house into the, the pure land? Right? Correct? So don't junk up your house. And when you have many presents, you cannot finish, share. Right? Many people buy very nice tea, but don't drink. Keep until spoiled and drink. Say, so, I am going to expire already. Correct? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with us? Hey, Leo Kaibo. 
Do you understand? Right? So, if you want to buy something, it's like, the, the, the main thing, the feeling is like, you go to the market happily, then you buy things in the market, the thing is supposed to be fre is fresh from the market, 